This program is primarily for practitioners of yoga and will be slightly shorter in its philosophy and its lecturing. Um, it will be focused primarily on feeling the way that energy moves through the body and asana um, with intention. And we'll use a lot less Sanskrit in this one. So if Sanskrit, if this terminology is not something that you're familiar with, you won't need to know as much of it um, to understand and feel the power of prana through these practices. So what is prana exactly? Prana in the yogic sciences is simply energy. So lots of physical sciences will teach you that we're all made up of energy, vibrating molecules of energy. And in yoga, we call that energy prana. So prana is, exists in every one of us um, and moves through everything we do. It can be an, an inanimate object like the tree behind me or something that's vibrant and alive like a person um, or a plant. And we take in prana many, many different ways. So one of the easiest ways to feel the taking in and releasing of prana is through our breath. So as we move through these practices, there will be a strong focus on the way that we're breathing. We'll slow down our attention and place it, focus it on our breath. The opening meditation for these practices is designed specifically to help you gather the energy that rides on your breath and then use that gathering of energy through your practices. We're going to talk a little bit about prana, the energy in yoga. And prana is the way, the animating force of energy in our practice, in our bodies, and our minds. And in yoga and prana video, they tell us that prana moves in certain locations in our body specifically and moves in certain ways. So if we start to step in and utilize our prana more intentionally, then we create certain effects with our practice. So when we make the choice to move prana or energy in certain ways, then our practice will allow us to feel that energy in maybe different ways than when we started. Generally speaking, when we move energy up, it allows us to feel more invigorated, more enlivened, more full, sometimes even more expressive and enthusiastic. When we work on centralizing our energy, then it allows us to feel more stable. It allows us to feel like we can digest our experiences. And when we move energy down, it's a feeling of letting go. It's a feeling of release. Um, oftentimes when we move energy down, that the outcome of that, the effect of that, is that we will feel more grounded and more stable in our practice and in our lives. So as we work to move energy in our yoga practice, we start to observe that energy in our life starts to shift. So you can use these practices prescriptively. If you're feeling like you're having a day where you feel lethargic and slow, then you can choose to do one of the more uplifting and enlivening practices and see if it makes a shift in your energy and attitude throughout the day. Likewise, if you're feeling over-energized, anxious, um, incredibly um, talkative or overwhelmed, then you can use energy and these practices to help stabilize and ground you more. Um, I use practices just like this every day to help me find balance in my life and in my body and especially in my mind. And that balance in yoga is called sattva and it means tranquility or equilibrium. And we make our best decisions, we move through the world in the best way when we're doing so from a place of balance. 
In our very busy lives, it's often difficult to allow balance to be our primary directive. But these practices will help get us there.